Sup, people? Fairness here. First off, sorry, you cannot really see my face. It's just that, you know, the camera angle. But anyways, if you just wanted the TAPS 40 breakdown riff, well, there you have it. I'm mostly doing this second short part, really, because of the noises that you can usually get while trying to play this riff. It's something that happened to me, and I'm not sure how many people actually have this problem as well. And what I mean by those noises are like... <laughs> You see what I mean? Like, I don't know if you noticed, but my fingers didn't look like they were in like a very different position, yet it's still, you know, it's not this note. But if I move my finger just a bit, suddenly I'm playing the riff wrong, you know? So it's something I personally struggled with for a time. So in case you are also struggling with this, hopefully this little tip will help you a bit. So what I personally did is just start playing muted frets. The first note for my guitar, personally, I found it between the third fret and the fourth fret. And I mean like literally the metal bar, the, f the fret, like, you know, not the space that you press. I take my finger across this section between the two frets, so... As you can see, I have a small range where you can get the right note. So it really is just the exercise of doing this. And then once you find the note, you just kind of memorize it, really. Like, you know, remember, this is like the area, the small area where you can put your finger. This is for me. I'm not sure if this is going to be for your guitar with your amp, with your settings and all that stuff, which is why I encourage you to like actually do that exercise of playing the muted fret here. So with that, we have the first note. For the second one, it's basically the same. But instead of between the fourth and the third fret, we're going to do it between the third and the second. So, same exercise. Again, I have a small range personally, like around this area where I can get that note very clearly. And again, like the personal thing I did here was just memorized like the small, very small area and try to remember that as precisely as possible. So when you're just playing the riff, Okay, so yeah, that's my little tip for you to find the right note in the riff. It's really pretty easy to just do the exercise and like then just, you know, memorize that very small section and then like you're good to go really. So yeah, I hope you found this helpful. If you want to see like this sort of video where I kind of talk about the riff instead of just doing the videos where I just play the riff slow down, like how I did with the damage riff. <laughs> If you have any requests for any specific riffs or stuff like that, then please let me know in the comments. Like, I'd love to read your opinions, really. And yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you found it helpful. Remember to like, subscribe, do all that stuff. See you in the next one. Bye!